Welcome back to another episode. I'm Kyle. Thanks for checking out this episode. I'm going to be going over you just saw footage from my 2009 college senior seminar project, The Odd Squad. And in this episode, I'm going to go over my reactions to the scene I directed in that film and what I would do differently now. Thanks for checking out this video. I'm glad everybody liked the Tony Hawk versus Downtown Minneapolis video that I did in the previous episode. And in this episode, I'm going over my 2009 senior seminar project uh, that was titled The Odd Squad. Um, I was uh, one of four people that were in charge of this project. Uh, how, how we ended up going over this idea was all four of us kind of, it was weird, like all, out of all four of us, none of us wanted to direct a big project because for the most part, we were writers, editors, producers, and nobody was really in the director's chair that often. Uh, myself and Matt Pierce, who I worked with on some previous projects in college, uh, we kind of both co-directed and edited, and it was kind of, from what I remember, yeah, like, no, neither of us wanted to all take the burden of the entire project on our shoulders. And so I came up with this idea that I was playing around with because... Especially after college, I wanted to do a lot of TV work. And I wanted to kind of do a show running position. And so my idea was, I'm going to take these little vignettes, and we, we all wanted to do something superhero related. And especially at the time, from, from MSUM at that time, you went from video production to beginning filmmaking, which was on black and white 16 millimeter, intermediate filmmaking, which was black and white 16 millimeter, advanced filmmaking, which was color 16 millimeter, and then your senior seminar project, which you could shoot on any type of format that you wanted. Because this was in the early days of the video DSLRs and like the red had just come out. Uh, thankfully we had uh, Mr. Alex Wellgraven as our main DP uh, for, for our shoot and we were able to use his equipment and my friend Amber Johnson, we ended up using in her camera and then we ended up using the school cameras for two of the segments. So it was myself, Matt Pierce, Dave Bloomingdale, and Heidi Zack that came together and this was really inspired by the Batman episode Almost Got Him, which was about a group of villains talking about and telling stories over a poker game of how they almost got Batman and how they almost got him. And I, I loved that storytelling framing sequence. So knowing that we, we had multiple directors and multiple writers, we were like, well, let's all four of us tell our own short superhero films and say they're all part of a team. And my idea was my character was not going to be there. My character wasn't gonna be part of the poker game uh, he would be off, and we wanted to make this feel very episodic. So he would be off getting tortured by the bad guy or something, and then come in at the end and tell everybody we've got to get together and save the city. And because of that, because I knew we were on absolutely no budget, uh, no budget in 2009, so we knew, okay, we're not going to be able to do a big action superhero thing, but we can do a character piece. And so I was lucky to have 
uh, Dave Bloomingdale, uh, who was one of the other directors and one of the other writers, uh, he wanted to play the villain, and we were lucky to get Stephen Maloney, uh, who is a theater actor and a film actor now, uh, as my main uh, protagonist and the guy who was uh, behind everything and who we were looking for the whole time. So, let's check it out. You know, Arco, if you uh, want to keep your civilian identity a secret, you really should wear a mask. All right, so one of the first things here, uh, the green screening. Uh, a little dated. We didn't get it as good as we should have. Um, one thing I realized I should have gotten Dave actually taking off the mask when he said you should wear a mask. Did you cover up this pretty face? <laughs> you want to know why I captured you today? I've got a few ideas, but I'm pretty sure you're going to tell me no matter what I say. Territory. It's all about what you own in this day and age. And soon... Another thing I just realized is how I directed the coverage, I wanted all of the focus to be on Steven and the Arco character, and I really didn't get enough shots of Dave. I'm going to have it all. Lantern City will be mine. I am happy for the coverage of the inserts, though. In preparation for your capture, I tied up all my victims the very same way, and none of them escaped. None of them are like me. True. But do you think you can escape while I'm standing right in front of you? Now back to my speech. Where we may have gone a little Joker heavy with Dave's makeup, though. Where was I? Territory. Ah. Uh, you know, for a doctor, you're not very smart. Oh, I'm too smart. You think I'd go through all this trouble to get you here and not kill you? The others are just pawns. And I'm no pawn. I'm going to bleed this city dry. And there isn't a damn thing you or your pathetic friends can do about it. You just how do you propose you're going to take this city? Oh, it's so, so simple. This might be my favorite shot that we had composition-wise. I went a little too simple with the framing. You're never gonna get out of here. I destroyed all your weapons. And coming up right here on the right is my cameo taking an absolutely terrible fall. Um, that didn't look good. I should have gotten other people. But that being said, everything else of that shot I really liked, including this camera wipe. So, yeah, that was it. Uh like I said, I want we should have done a little bit better of a job with the with the green screening, but shooting on green screens always difficult, you know, especially with, you know, lighter complexion and we got a lot of the the fill shadows. Better, it's not as good as I remember, obviously. Uh, but it's not as terrible as I expected it to be, and I worried about it being uh, in watching this back. But one of the things that I can definitely take from it, though, it was really good to have actors the caliber of Steven and Dave. Like, Dave Dave was, he was in always a few little things here and there, or but he was very underrated as far as an actor goes, especially in, the, in our uh, film department. And, you know, Steven's gone on to, you know, a lot of success on stage and on screen, so... Thanks everybody for watching this. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'll post a link to the full video. I think we still have it on Vimeo. And thanks for checking this out. Make sure to like and subscribe and follow me on social media at Knocked Out Films.